Yahoo! David Wynn here. Welcome back to the channel. As promised, I have a brand new Gwen video for you all today. It's going to be on how I reach Prestige 10 in less than a year. This video will also serve as the first time I showed my face to my Gwen viewers. Hello. Feel free to say hi in game out there. I'm always up for adding new friends to play Gwen with. And uh, I'll be sharing with you some of the secrets and methods that I personally use to get to Prestige 10 efficiently. If you're new to my channel, please take a moment now to subscribe for more great point content in the future, particularly educational content. That's mainly what I specialize in. Once you're ready with that, let's go. I wanted to start with a little bit of context on how I was able to accomplish this feat in a year. Um, as you know, a year is not so long in terms of Gwent time frame. And getting to Prestige 10 takes a lot of work and a lot of effort. As you know, as you may know, it requires a lot of experience points to be able to get to that level. But the perk that was always driving me was trying to get that fifth premium. Uh, guaranteed in all my kegs so that was like the one thing that I was super looking forward to and that kind of motivated me to just keep playing and try to get there as fast as I can so that all the cards or all the kegs that I open would just give me the maximum amount of premiums possible as early as I, I could get so I played Gwent a lot during the year of the pandemic a lot of us were housebound so we didn't have much else to do but stay home. And for me, I had discovered Gwent um, some months prior to that, all of that happening. So it was a great time for me to just start playing and start gaining experience and learning the ins and outs of the game. Another one of my motivations was to be able to learn the game, everything about it, and then be able to help teach you guys like what I learned and show you like some of the techniques that I used to to actually level up faster and progress through the game quicker and collect all the cards as fast as possible. So that's part of why I'm doing this video and a lot of my other content. So back to the topic. We had a lot of time during that year, so I actually ended up spending about five hours a day on average playing Gwent. I know to some of you that sounds pretty insane, but Gwent was really fun. I just really enjoyed playing. Sometimes I would just open up the game and just go through my collection and just look at all the cards. And the art is just beautiful. I know some of you already realized that, but some days I, I just log in just to look at the art and I don't really play any games, but all the hours add up, all the games that you play add up. So uh, everything you do in this game counts and just try to enjoy it while you can. So as you may have noticed here, I have the contract open here for Prestige 10, and it's already completed. I started playing June of 2020, and here you can see it took about less than a year for me to get to that Prestige 10 level. And I can tell you it takes a lot of time because each game that you play gives you roughly anywhere between, I would say, 80 EXP to like 120-ish. EXP, depending on if you win or you lose, and also on the number of cards that you play. Um, you can search for this online, but officially, I think you get three EXP points per card played during a match, and roughly 20 to 40 points of EXP per round one in Gwent. And when you add that all up, it comes out to be about 120 on a win and on a loss. I would say between 70 or 80 EXP points. So the difference here is that if you win, you get these EXP points faster. So that's going to be our main focus in this video. How are you going to be able to win more games so that you can officially get to that prestige 10 level? So let's talk about games. A lot of us like to play standard mode, aka rank mode. And this is actually 
a really popular mode. Most people usually play this mode, and it's the most competitive mode in Gwent. And this is where I started as well. And I noticed that while it was fun and competitive, my win percentage was about between 60 to 75%. And for me, while that was an okay percentage, I wanted to increase my win percentage uh, more so that I could level up to Prestige 10 even quicker. And so then I thought about how I could do that. And it led me to these other modes in Gwent. At the time, there was an arena mode. There was also a, uh, a seasonal mode. Uh, in the arena mode, it's, it's like a draft mode. So you could draft cards and play games against uh, other pe people who participate in draft mode. And the seasonal modes, they varied monthly to month. And now it's, now it's uh, weekly to weekly, right? But before, it used to be month to month. And I took advantage of the fact that seasonals changed every month. And for each seasonal per month, I could construct like the best deck that I could possibly think of. And just try to get as many wins as I can off in that mode. Because what I found was in seasonal mode, you can actually win at a really, really high percentage. I've had anywhere up to like 95, 96, 97% wins in a season. Uh, in fact, there were se seasons where I just didn't lose at all. And it was pretty incredible to be winning almost every single game that you played and just enjoying all that extra EXP because it helped me get one step closer to the goal of getting to Prestige 10. And uh, I would say just keep an open mind, try it out. I know seasonal is not for everybody because you're severely limited to a new set of rules. But just think of it as like a new way to play Gwent. It's still Gwent, you're still playing with the same cards. Just a different set of rules. And if you can stand to gain a lot of experience points from it, you know, why not give it a shot? If you're interested in any of the seasonal modes, I would recommend for you to watch my other seasonal deck guide videos. I pretty much have one for every single seasonal mode cover. If I don't, let me know and I'll come up with a new list for that seasonal. I've been playing seasonal for as long as I can remember. Um, it's just a, way, a great way to play Gwent when you just want to take a break from ranked and not play so competitively. But at the same time, you're still being competitive because the person you're playing with, they want to win too. So you got to still build your deck properly, try to maximize your resources and try to find out ways to win every single game and try to improve and learn and improve upon your mistakes. So that's the fun part of Gwent. And I would say to watch my videos on the seasonals and try to use some of the decks just to start off. If you find that the deck isn't very fun to play, maybe you could expand upon it a little bit, change some cards here and there, and uh, give it up, give it a shot. And uh, I think you'll actually end up enjoying the deck or at the very least enjoy all the wins that come with it. So if any of you use Reddit or follow quite on Reddit, there's a user named Stalkin101 who was kind enough to provide us with a prestige EXP chart here. I'm hosted on Imgur, so I downloaded the chart. So we're here in the calculator, and I have a couple of numbers here for you. The first one being 1,354,386.5 EXP points. This is the number of total points required to get from prestige zero to prestige 10, level 60. That's a lot of points, as you can see. And then here's the 120. This is the amount of EXP points we get per win. So if we do this division, you'll see that all you do is win, and you win every single game, then you can get there to Prestige 10 in 11,286 and a half games, or 11,287 games. If you just win that amount of games, you'll get to Prestige 10 in no time. But it's not feasible to win every single game that you play, I think when, but we can maximize the winning percentage of each game by selecting the mode which we excel at best. 
And in my case, that would be seasonal mode where I get up to 97% winning percentages depending on the seasonal mode for that season. So seasonal mode is one mode that I highly recommend for you to try it just for the sake of um, increasing your experience points easier for each game. And if you find that you play better in ranked or the latter, then go for that. And there's also the uh, draft mode as well so as another option. So stick to your strengths, stick to the games that you have the highest winning percentages in, and play as much as you can. Let's take this a little bit further. How many games would I need to play per day in order to eventually reach Prestige 10? Well, as you can see here, it would take us about 11, 1,286.55 games of wins to get to Prestige 10. So if we divide that up into, let's say, 365 days in a year. So that's roughly 31 wins per day. Um, I don't know anybody who plays that much Gwent. <laughs> well, that's actually the minimal amount of Gwent that you could play to get there. If you can get 31 wins a day, you'll be able to get to prestige level 10, most likely, by the end of the year, before the, the one year time frame. Now, this doesn't mean that you have to win 31 games every single day for 365 consecutive days. You can also take advantage of the fact that Gwent offers a Gwent day every week. I believe it's on Wednesday, where your EXP is I believe you, you get 25% extra, or is it 50% extra? I don't remember exactly. But you get some kind of bonus experience for playing. So I highly recommend you play the most on Gwent Day. Because you're going to get more experience points per game, per win. <laughs> and it just makes sense. It's the best day to play for experience. Um, so if, you, if there's only one day of Gwent you can play per week, definitely play on Gwent Day. I take advantage of that extra EXP. So let's break this down a little bit more. 31 wins per day. Let's say the average Gwent game takes about 20 minutes, roughly. That's, I know that's rather long, but depending on how competitive the mode is. In seasonal, it could be 10, 12 minutes, to be honest. So if you're playing seasonal, you might be able to get about five games in per hour. Uh, competitive rank or ladder, you may get like three games per hour. So keep that in mind. That's another reason I recommend playing seasonal over rank. If you can get in five games per hour, it will take you roughly six, a little bit over six hours to get to 31 wins. And that kind of coincides with my average playing time over a year span, which was five hours. Keep in mind, I also played a lot of rank day. So um, definitely, I think the calculation or the numbers add up here. You're looking to play about five, roughly five hours or so every day, trying to seek for those 30, 31 wins per day. Uh, if you can get more on Gwent day, perfect, because then that means you don't have to get as many on the other days. Now, having said all this, I recommend that you play Gwent only for as long as you want to play it per day. And just play it to have fun. Whether or not you get to Prestige 10 in a year or not, that's not the most important thing. The most important thing when you play Gwent is to have fun. And that's something that I kind of lost sight of for a bit because I really wanted to get to Prestige 10. But after I got there, then I realized, hey, you know, the reason I play this game is to have fun. Just admire the beautiful art. And for you, it may not be healthy to play five hours a day. I know because I experienced this for a whole entire year. And maybe I would have done it differently if I had gone back. So at the end of the day, it's going to be up to you to make that decision. Um, and only you. So make sure you think about it. And make sure there's a balance in your, your life as well. And focus on the things that are important. Uh, Gwent is fun, but it's not everything. Remember that? Uh, 
be healthy, stay safe. Those things are like more important, I would say. Um, but Gwent for entertainment, for fun, definitely love the game. And I'm glad to be back and sharing this with you all. Thank you for tuning in to watch my video. If you have any more specific questions, feel free to comment down below or send me a message in game. Let's play a game of Gwent sometime. Uh, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. If you're new to my channel, please remember to subscribe for more Gwent educational content like this in the future. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.